Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from sortofinteresting.com and today you're joining me for a lovely walk along the canal but not just any section of canal, this is one of my favourite places about a two mile stretch on the Langothlin Canal just down from Chirk where the aqueduct and the viaduct is and well, I was lucky enough to do this walk as part of a nine mile walk through the Shropshire countryside on this truly beautiful autumn day, as you can see. Now, the reason that this is such a special section of canal to me, as many of you may know, as I mentioned it once or twice on this channel, I did used to live on a narrowboat for any new viewers. And this was one of the sections that I used to spend a lot of time on during the winters. There was once upon a time a winter mooring thing, and we won't get into the details, but I used to spend about five months a year over the course of my boat life in this general area. So as you can see, not very far into the walk whatsoever, the sun went behind the clouds and I started to think, hang on, I might have might have duped myself into having to walk in some pretty unpleasant conditions. But luckily, uh, it soon brightened up as you'll see. This is one of my favourite places on the canal, this particular bridge, and I've got memories going back for the best part of well, getting on for four years, that sort of time now, where me and my granddad came to this bridge itself, collecting bits of firewood for the boat, and again, I mean, it's just, it's just incredible to walk back down these areas, and this in particular, pretty much this exact spot along this straight here, is where I used to love to moor up, is out in the, sort of, just away from where anybody really went walking, away from the poacher's pocket, a pub just up around the corner, and the lying keys, and you could just moor down here in the winter months, not see a boat go by here for days or even weeks, depending. Have this as one of the only people that you would see uh, <laughs> there. Seem to spend a lot of time fishing that chap. And again, have this all as a part of your, well, waking up in the morning and going to sleep at night, travelling out to work in the morning, coming back from work last thing at night. And having all this scenery around you is the very last things that you experienced or the very first things that you experienced. I mean, an absolutely beautiful area and especially at this time of year. Although I will say, here's the Lion Keys just for reference for anyone who's interested. What I will say is that, as you can imagine, the leaves coming off the trees down that straight that I was just talking about mooring up on meant that the bow on Narrowboat Tilly in particular being slightly enclosed would just get absolutely filled with all these crispy leaves and I'd have to get the dustpan out there and use that as a great big shovel like you're shoveling snow overboard. Again, absolutely love the berries on the trees here. There's some sections of canal out in this area that have got just red berries on trees, so bright and especially in this sort of sunlight that just stretch as far as the eye can see down some straight parts. Absolutely beautiful, just absolutely fantastic. Anyway, I'll hand you over to myself, actually on site now. Well, my friends, here we are, my old winter mooring spot. My goodness me, how many good times have been spent down here going up and down the roads just behind us from the canal bridge to be friends and up into the hills just in the distance. Look in it. Seems like a totally different lifetime ago and especially if I just fetch this into the focus, this tree that's right in the centre here. Some of you may know used to be up until I think the year before last, all sprawling out, covering up practically all the sky that's in the shot now. Oh my goodness me, those were some picturesque, beautiful times. So I've got pictures going back to literally years before I even dreamt of a boat from all this area and this particular tree in the snow and uh, so many absolutely wonderful moments and memories. Just just spent around this area here, just that little stretch there where the corrugated side of the canal begins. Oh, just fantastic. It's been a strange, strange hour or so just walking up from St. Martin's. I haven't been far so far. So as you can tell, it was a pretty nostalgic little trip for me. Um, yeah, as I say, just waking up and having this on your doorstep and having the local geese there come swimming across to you when they saw the curtains open in the morning and 
uh, it's again, it's just all stuff from that absolutely fairy tale type of life that I feel I've been exceptionally lucky to experience when I did, and especially to do it for four years. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. Please do check out my short Boat Life Kindle books or about my time on board Narrowboat Tilly. You'll find links to those in the description below. Thank you so much. Check the links in the description to find me all over the internet doing all sorts of outdoors stuff. Feel free to add me on Facebook, all that sort of stuff. But until the next time, just have an absolutely fantastic day. Keep it bootworthy, keep it interesting. And of course, my friends, farewell. <laughs>